Now we look at example 4.1. An experiment was performed to determine whether the annealing temperature of ductile iron affects its tensile strength. Five specimens were annealed at each of four temperatures, and then the tensile strength was measured and the results are presented in the table below. So as you can see, in this experiment, we have two different variables. The first one is the temperature and the second one is the tensile strength. So the temperature and the tensile strength can be the independent and the dependent variable. So as you can see that from the sentence, we can see that the tensile strength is depend on the temperature. So that means the temperature is the independent variable and the tensile strength is the dependent variable. So that means the temperature is the factor in this experiment. Okay, now we can see that in this experiment we use four different temperature 750, 800, 850, and 900 degrees Celsius. So that means this experiment used four different treatments. This is the first treatment, second treatment, third and fourth treatment. And then for each of the treatment, the experiment have five repetitions. One, two, three, four, and five. For every temperature, they have five replications. So that means in this uh, in this question, we have our k equal four, and our number of replication is equal five. Now we go to the questions. A. Write down the model assumption and the rules of the one-way ANOVA for the given data. B. State the dependent and the independent variables for the above experiments. C. Perform the ANOVA method and test the hypothesis at 0 0.01 level of significance that the mean data provided by the tensile strength is the same for all four temperatures. This is the solution for E. So you can have these solutions from the notes that we discussed previously. Okay, the assumption is the population is follow normal distribution, the sample data is independent from the other sample, and then the populations have same unknown population variance. For B independent variable as we can see from the question is the temperature and then we already know that the tensile strength is the dependent variable so I think you don't have any problem to identify which one is the independent variable and the dependent variable and then we also know that from the questions we can clearly see that k equal 4 and the number of replications is equal 5 okay so the next step is construct our hypothesis to solve the ANOVA problem. So our HNAL is mu equal mu1 equal mu2 equal mu3 equal mu4. Okay, so we assume all of the mu's have equal values. And then H1 mu i not equal mu j. For at least one, i equ not equal j, where j we can have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, from your early hypothesis, H0 and H1, if your decision later is accept H0, that means you are agree that all population means are equal. But, if your decision later, if reject H0, that means at least one population mean is different, or all population mean is different. Before we can have the ANOVA table, we must find the SSTR, SST and SSE value. So, to use the formula, 
we need to find the total number for each row so this is total number for row number 1 row number 2 total number 3 total number 4 and last one we have the big total here the big total is equal 350.43 okay so next step 2 first we are going to find the SSTR so as you can see here SSTR 96.80 square over 5 so this is total for row number 1 5 here is number of replication for the first treatment ok the second one is 94.96 square this is the total for the second treatment and then we also have 5 here because second treatment also have 5, tre uh, five replications next same goes to the, the third treatment 82.32 square total for the third treatment also have 5 replications 76.35 from the fourth treatment also have 5 replications ok minus big total from here and then 20 here is the total data you have so you solve this one and then you can have SSTR equal 58.6501 next we move on to the second value that we need to find which is the SST so SST equal 19.72 square this is the first data plus the second data square 20.88 square plus third data plus the fourth data five data until the last data 13.25 square so that means you need to you need to add all the data and don't forget the square minus 350.43 square this is the same big total over 20 the total data and then you can have 95.4875 for your SST for SSE is very simple it's very easy for SSE SST minus SSTR and then you can have 36.8374 after we manage to find the SS treatment SS error and, uh, and SS total so we can fill the first column here ok so we already have 58.6501 SS treatment we already find the SSE 36.83.74 and we already have 95.4875 as our SST now let's move on to the second column which is the degree of freedom for the first row this one is K minus 1 so total treatment we have 4 minus 1 equal 3 next we have for the SSE we have capital N minus K capital N is total data we have 20 minus total treatment which is 4 so 20 minus 4 equal 16 and then for the SST degree of freedom is N capital N minus 1 so total data we have 20 minus 1 equal 19 ok I think you don't have a problem to find the degree of freedom value next we move on to the third column mean of square 
to find mean of square you need to use the value from the previous column so as you can see here mean of square for the treatment is 58.6501 divided by 3 so as you can see this value divide this value and then you can have the the answer 19.5500 okay for the second mean of square for the error this value divide this value 36.8374 divide 16 and then you can have this value 2.3023 okay you can see the flow here and then for the F test when you already have the mean square for the treatment and error you don't have a problem to find the F test so as you can see the F test equal 19.5500 divided by 2.3023 so this value divide this value and then you can have the answer your F test equal 8.4915 so this is the objective of the ANOVA table to find the F-test value. And then for the critical value 5.2922 you can find this one from your statistical table. After we complete the ANOVA table above, okay, we already find the critical value for F alpha k minus 1 4 minus 1 3 and then capital N minus K equal F 0 0.01 3 and 16 equal 5.2922 okay next we compare in step number 4 we compare your F test value from your calculations with the F alpha from your statistical table so as as you can see that your F test here 8.4915 clearly larger than your F alpha value 5.92922 so that's why for your decision H null is rejected because your F test larger than f alpha so step number five for your conclusion you can see that at alpha 0 0.01 at least one of the population means of the temperature is different okay so this is how we conduct an ANOVA test and we have show that the mean data provided by the tensile strength is not the same for all four temperatures so i hope you guys really understand well how one-way ANOVA test is conducted we will continue our lesson on two-way ANOVA on the next video thank you